so I'm going to talk a little bit about this song I wrote um, called Coyote Shoes. I, I wrote this song about five or six years ago. Uh, I was just finishing up college, getting my degree in graphic design. And I was mostly thinking about my friends, especially the ones that I had uh, played in previous bands with and made music with. And, uh, I think I was really inspired by old country music, uh, folk punk. I think a big inspiration uh, was the band Neutral Milk Hotel. I had been playing around with that basic chord structure, you know, the C, G, F, what is that, the one, four, five, and the circle of fifths. Um, when it comes to music theory, very basic chord structure, but just kind of trying to change it up a little bit. Um, and I was just, you know, I was really thinking about mortality a lot for whatever reason. Um, and just not, not wanting to lose the current friends that I had and just trying to make an effort to show how important those people were to me, especially at that time in my life. And uh, just the, the words kind of came to me. Uh, you know, you start rhyming and <laughs> just kind of comes together. Uh, the bridge, you know, it goes down to the, the E minor, which is kind of basic, but I think it, it's a really good dramatic shift. I think when I was recording it, I was a little nervous. <laughs> it was the first song I recorded with Sweet Radish. I didn't think I was nervous, but you can kind of hear it in the playing. Uh, uh, I, I think I played it a little faster in the breaks are not perfect, but I've never been one to go for perfection, especially when it comes to art. I kind of value the imperfections of things. Uh, there's that other kind of breakdown bridge where I go into that uh, old R&B song, you know, Love, Love Me Do, whatever it is. Um, I, I'm kind of worried about the copyright on that, but I think it came together pretty nicely. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I really thank Abe and Morgan for putting up with me. Thank you all. That one song.